taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another Zen Crypto video, guys. I wanted to talk about Zen, specifically about uh yeah i mean i've had a lot of questions in yesterday's video mzen on polygon be going absolutely wild okay and uh, many people are clearly new to crypto sometimes i forget i'm getting a lot of new subscribers a lot of new viewers not everybody has been in crypto for a year six months even right and some people are confused they're saying i'm confused now what is mzen uh, is there more than one Zen? How come Zen is on so many different chains? How come it's a different price? Why is it not the same? And so on, right? So I just wanted to make a brief video explaining what's going on with Zen. Okay, guys, so you have the main Zen. This is the first Zen that was created uh, or minted, uh, made available for mint by Jack Levin. The Ethereum Zen. Let's just go to the main Zen website. So the Ethereum Zen is the first Zen that was that we were able to mint for free okay after that he launched then on a bunch of other chains Binance smart chain polygon avalanche right proof uh, ethereum proof of work uh moonbeam those chain phantom evmos okx pulse chain testnet of course that will launch on pulse chain mainnet when pulse chain mainnet goes live you should actually get a free copy of your ethereum zen also on pulse chain mainnet and you get X1 DevNet, which is the uh, blockchain which Jack Levin, the founder of Zen, is creating. And that will, of course, become the X1 mainnet. Um, so we have Zen on 369, approximately 12 chains right now. Um, I'm sure it's on Doge chain as well. Um, it's on more, yeah, it's on more, ch oh, right, it is there. Okay, 12 chains, it's on 12 chains, okay. It is not the same price on each chain. It is not the same Zen. They have different names. Okay, so on Ethereum, we have Zen, which is the original Zen. On Polygon, we have MZen, right? If you go on Deck Screener and you type in Zen, it's going to bring up all the different Zens. Um, maybe it won't, in fact. Uh, maybe it will. Let's just scroll down. Right, so when you scroll down, you have MZen. You have DXN, which is obviously related to Zen. You have BZen. Okay, MZen is Polygon, Matic, Zen. Uh, BZen is Binance, Zen, right? Um, we have FM, Zen, which is Phantom, Zen. And the list goes on, right? So that's why they're different names, because it identifies with a, a, a particular, whichever blockchain is on. Some exchanges have listed more than one version of Zen. Okay, if you go on MEXC Exchange, they listed both MZen, FM, Zen, Matic, Zen, phantom zen and also zen okay and on each chain you'll find that zen is different price so let's just go back on polygon let's just use this for the sake of time okay so uh m zen right on polygon m zen is one two three four five six zeros and a two in price okay phantom zen is one two three four five six seven zeros and a four in price okay so they're different price and the reason that they're not all the same price of course uh it's five zeros and a seven on ethereum the reason they're not all the same price is because they all have individual separate liquidity pools and they're not correlated because liquidity is provided for by the community remember this is a decentralized fair launched free mint uh community owned project okay guys so the liquidity is actually provided for by the community for example you see zen usdc over here right when you type in zen you will see also zen wrapped ethereum you will see zen usdt you will see uh zen hex pairing okay so there's a bunch of different pairings and the reason being is because that's their pairing of choice right they decide they might take their Zen what they've minted or take their Zen what they've bought and pair it up with something. And when people trade in that liquidity pair, they will get a percentage of the fees, right? That's how liquidity works. You provide LP, you get a percentage of fees. It becomes like a passive income. Where the most volume is is where you're going to make, make the most money. Um, but, you know, if you understand liquidity, 
there is risk to repayment loss and all, all sorts. Okay, if you're paying it up with a stable coin, uh, you know, you, you're going to do well in pairing it up, okay, because you're not going to get the impermanent loss that you would if you, for example, did a Zen hex pair when Zen drops and Zen drops or Zen's going up and hex is dropping, you know, that's going to affect you. If they're both going up, then, you know, you get impermanent gain as well. So because there's so much different liquidity pairs, liquidity pools, uh, the prices are not going to be the same because there's going to be more volume on one. Uh, one chain is going to be more popular than the other. So, you know, they are they are all individual tokens in themselves. However, Jack Levin is building the X1 mainnet, um, which he plans to enable us to merge our Zen all over to the native chain somehow. The, the good thing about uh, the liquidity being community-owned provided for by the community is that liquidity is not provided by a single entity and therefore can't be pulled out all at once by a single entity right jack levin um he didn't go he didn't do a pre-sale there was no seed round there's no angel round there's no early investor round at all the only way to get these tokens from the beginning was to free mint the tokens he himself also free minted the tokens his tokens whatever he's holding whatever he's got so, you know, when it comes to liquidity, nobody can really rug pull this project. Yes, individuals can pull out their liquidity, what they provided, but the thing is, what are the chances of everybody at the same time pulling out their liquidity? And of course, as the, uh, the, the demand increases, the liquidity increases as well. As people burn tokens, the liquidity increases as well. I'll give you an example. So MZEN, if you go back and watch yesterday's video, the price was lower and the liquidity, no, the price was higher, but the liquidity was lower. Liquidity was about two, uh, 150K, right? The market cap was around 2.3 or 2.7 million, right? But the price is pulling back. You can see it wicking down, right? However, liquidity is, is higher than 150K. Why is that? Because people are buying and burning the MZN token and as they're buying they're putting liquidity into the market by way of buying Zen right that's injecting liquidity into the market they're buying Zen tokens uh, but they're burning Zen and the reason being is that there's this project called Phoenix coming out so I've been told in the comments Phoenix is coming out and this is actually launching on Polygon so that explains why Polygon has been going absolutely crazy it's launching on Polygon I'm not sure if it's launching on Polygon only but it's, at least it's launching on Polygon first, right? And people have been buying the tokens. And in order to get that token, you have to burn the tokens to get uh, 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 to get your Phoenix tokens, right? And you can see the liquidity increasing, okay? Which, in the long term, will stabilize the price more and help to uh, increase the price and so on. Okay, guys? So I hope that you're no longer confused about why there's so many versions of Zen, okay? It's the same project, just a different version on a different chain. Some will expect Zen to perform better on other chains. Uh, some will use it as an indicator that if Zen pumps on one chain, some of the other chains are likely to follow. If you go on, because we're on Matic Zen, M Zen right now. So if we go on uh, the Avalanche Zen, you'll see uh, a pump right we'll see we said it's not the same pump but it is a pump right if we go on the phantom zen uh, there will be a bigger pump similar to the matic zen right you'll see fm zen you will see a pump okay right um in fact if we look at uh, Binance Zen. The Binance Zen looks similar to the Avalanche Zen pump. The Phantom Zen looks similar to the uh, the Matic Zen pump. Okay, guys. So you know, I mean, it's good to have exposure on all chains, in my opinion, because you can mint for free on all chains. And when it comes to buying it, there's going to be some that people prefer over the others, and some of them are more volatile. For example only 17k in liquidity uh, 2.8 million market cap on binance so it can drop harder it can pump harder okay uh, if we go back to uh, phantom zen 
only 12k liquidity and a 1.4 million market cap so you can pump harder you can dump harder right we go to matic zen oh, sorry avalanche Zen. only 10k liquidity and 9.8 million market cap okay so it can dump harder it can pump harder um yeah so i mean you can see that matic polygon zen is way more way more stable right it's way more stable and therefore shows that it's way more popular because of the amount of liquidity that's going in there people are willing to provide liquidity people are willing to buy it and pump it up so it looks a lot more popular and then ultimately we have the ethereum pair which just clearly is the most popular and the most stable which of course explains why i'm so bullish on and talk mostly about the ethereum pair it has 2.5 million in liquidity which is all community owned is provided for by the community a 68.6 million market cap coming down from around a 75 77 or close to an 80 million market cap okay guys so i just wanted to make that brief video and explain it to you if you are confused um i hope i've done a good job of explaining it um but yeah let me know what you think in the comments do me a favor and subscribe to the channel tick the little bell for notifications uh, like the video which helps with the youtube algorithm and i'll see you in the next video okay.